I live in rural Ireland and most people who are in rural Ireland have lost complete faith in the possibility of broadband being delivered. And that's the reality. Now that isn't to say that a lot of people don't have some service. They have a service usually coming from a, a, a pylon somewhere or something like that that gets, is grand during the day and when the evening comes and people, children start doing their homework and goes on and the next thing is it goes down to nothing. And that's the experience of most people and they have come to expect nothing better. And that is an indictment, Minister, on the government's promises that go back right to 2012. Now, I was speaking to a man there recently who was in County Sligo, who was a small business in a rural area, not isolated at all, but along a main road, and he has been pleading for five years to get broadband, because it would make a huge difference to his potential to employ more people in the business he's in. And he, is, he says he was just as well trying to look for Bin Laden as to look for somebody in air or some of these places to come back to him. It's just impossible. Nobody comes back, nobody tells you anything, it's just a complete blank. And the frustration of people like that, who are out, who are the very people that the government tell us that they, they want to help, who are to get up in the morning and work hard and cause, create employment and do stuff, these people are being let down across the length and breadth of rural Ireland. And the reason they're being let down is because there was a choice, and the choice was between will the market Except provide for it has it, a responsibility for to provide services to its people, and you chose the market to provide for it. And that choice goes right back to 1999 when Aircom was sold. And at the time when Aircom was sold, I remember the, the, the very reason we were told was because the investment was needed to provide broadband. Broadband was going to be needed, and the government couldn't do it. We were going to have to get the big investors in, and everything was going to be great. What happened? It's a total mess. And that's a lesson that I think needs to be learned. Nearly everything in every country in the world, when you look at it, when it comes to strategic, proper infrastructure, it takes the state that has the capacity for to, to borrow the money at the right level, that has the confidence for to bring in investors, for to make things happen. It takes the state for to provide it, to kickstart, to make it happen. And, Minister, on this occasion, the state is failing. And that needs to be recognised. This is a failure. And until somebody steps up and says, look, we made an absolute mess of this. Then people might start to believe that you wanted to do something about it. Because as long as you keep denying, and keep denying that there's a problem, well, nobody will believe that you have any interest in resolving that problem. So at this stage, Minister, and, and, and I look at my own county in County Leitrim, where I think there's just over 22,000 households, and less than 11,000 of them will be provided for by air and by the other companies, and the rest of them will be left to the state to provide for them. And I see some of the, the, the lines been put on top of the poles, on top of the air poles now, and some of them are up there three years, and nobody has broadband. You know, there's huge questions to be asked about air and how they're doing their business, but the problem, as my colleague said, is that they were allowed to cherry-pick. And they cherry-picked the spots that they were going to do it, and they ran the lines past everybody else and left it there. And we really need to get a grip of this, Minister. It's time for the government to step up to the mark and stand up here tonight and admit this has been a total cock-up from start to finish, and we're going to go back to the drawing board. Sean Sherman.